welcome to the garden. Today I'm going to show you how to build some very simple rustic stairs and trails. And this is so simple, you're going to want to build them all over your garden. Our stairs are basically a log or a board supported by two stakes. And a lot of the maintenance I have to do is replacing these stakes every few years. They eventually rot in the wet soil. To start from scratch, I recommend laying out where you want your steps. And go ahead and walk the route a few times to see if you like the spacing. Depending on how steep your slope is, you may want to actually dig them into the soil a little bit. And when you're happy, you can stake them in. And I usually go fairly close to the edges, so right about here and here. By cutting at an angle, we can get two stakes for the price of one. We'll just cut another flat spot up here. So there we have two stakes ready to be hammered into the soil. The higher your step, the longer you want your stakes. But we'll just hammer those in. I'm using a sledge, but you can also use a carpenter's hammer. And you want to snug them up really tight up against your log. Try to hammer them straight down or at a slight angle to really wedge this log into place. And if you do have to redo anything, just give your stakes a little tap like this on the side. Be very gentle or you can snap the wood. And that should loosen them up enough to where you can pull them out and redo them. We'll pound in our stakes just below the top of our log. That way we don't trip up on them. And then we want to level out the space in between the bottom and top of our stairs. And we can just use this to guide our shovel all the way back and take out any excess soil. And then we can use this to fill in the gap right behind our log, just like this. So we'll do another one of those. And you may want to pull out some of these weeds and plants. Do one last scoop here. And there we have a nice level space for our first step. It can actually benefit you to leave a slight slope so that water can drain off. And you may want to leave a little lip right behind our log. And when it rains, sand and other sediments will accumulate here and settle rather than just washing away. Now it may take a little bit of time for this to settle completely, but it should be fairly solid at this point. It is, however, important to note, you want to step on the soil. You don't want to step on this log because it can roll or you can actually kick it out. Another important part of maintenance is keeping them clear of weeds. Otherwise, they can just get overtaken so sometimes I'll pull them by hand. You can also use a shovel. Another little secret weapon I have in fighting weeds is a grass whip. And you may find beneficial plants here. We have creeping charlie, we have mosses, there's blue bugle. So anytime I see these, I'm going to transplant them to the edge of the trails. Here we have some really nice moss that I'd love to keep, but it's on a big bulge that I want to flatten down. So what I'm going to do is just dig it up. Try to keep it in one big piece if you can. Just like that. And then I'm actually going to move it to a different spot, but if you wanted to keep it here, you would dig down a little further so that bulge could then sit flat. We do have a little bit of moss here further up. And I'm just going to remove a little bit of soil underneath. And then with my heel, I'm going to press it in firm. You really want 
firm contact with the soil underneath. And this will actually help prevent erosion. It took a lot of work, but now we've got every single stair weeded and reinforced with brand new stakes. So not only do they look great, but they're a lot safer as well. Just remember to step on the soil, not on our logs. Because even with the stakes, they can still roll out of place, especially when they're freshly installed. And one of the best ways to maintain them is actually just to use them. That'll compact the soil so you don't get as many weeds. And we can use this same principle to build trails. All we want to do is move soil from the uphill side to the downhill side to create a nice flat spot. And then you can reinforce that downhill edge with a log or a board, just using that same log and stake method. And I'll have more info on trail maintenance in a future video. So stay tuned and hit that subscribe button if you don't want to miss it. Thank you all so much for watching and we'll see you next time.